Hi guys, welcome to another video. This is part two of testing high tensile spring steel wire against stainless. The stainless steel wire, spring steel wire that is used in many guns. This specific piece is one of the injector rods. It looks like a high grade stainless. I'm pretty sure this is a 17.4 pH, probably set at a tensile with the heat treatment of around 15 to 1600 MPa. It's 7.2, we're gonna test it against our seven mil. As you can see, it clamps into the vernier. Ours is a bit thinner. So we're gonna test seven mil against 7.2. Let's roll both before we start, just to show perfectly straight. Both are straight. We set at zero, but there'll be about a one kilogram of force that'll come in as we set it up. That's just to stop it from falling out. There we go, one kg. I'm gonna push it to about 80 and then test it. Just over 80. It's got a fair deformation. It shouldn't have taken a set. Still perfect. This time, take it up another 20%, basically up to 100. We're already preset at 10. There's 101, fairly flexed. Let's see how she straightens out. Looks still good. Still fine. All looking good. Let's take her up to 100 and let's go 120. Just over. Let me back that off. Still looking good. Still good. Everything nicely centered. Don't remember what we got up to, 120. Okay, let's do 140. Holding at 140. Backing her down. Still looking good. Yeah, we'll take it up in smaller increments now. I think it's getting to the end. One fifty this time. Backing her off. Very good. Let's try 160. Holding. Now releasing. I think that's taken a little bit of a set. No. 160. Still good. Must have been the bumps in the rollers I was feeling. Just centering it so we keep 
tensioning in the same zone. Now we want to go to 170. One seventy one holding and backing off. I think we have a set now. No, that's still good. Oh, no, this end. Hard to tell, but I think we're just getting something. There's a very slight change. Let's go to 180. Holding 170 just started to move. Watch that end, you'll see quite a wobble. I think just before 180 at 170, we were getting a slight deformation. Hard to tell on such short pieces. So you might realize they are slightly different lengths, but when in the device, They've been pressurized in exactly the same place. So that's not changing. Same test. This time I'll take it up to, let's go straight to 170, where I think the previous stainless did start to show an effect. Just over, holding it under tension. Backing it off. No deformation. Let's go beyond the stainless. I'm going to 190. Holding. Backing off. Still feels fine. 200. Holding 200. Backing it off. I'd say that's still good. You must remember this is actually thinner by 0.2 of a millimeter. So you're not really testing, checking apples with apples. Correction. <laughs> you must remember this is seven mil opposed to 7.2 of the stainless. We not really testing same for same. Let's take it to 220. 220 it is, backing off. Here we go. Just starting. So again, even though it's smaller diameter, the high carbon spring steel wire is still better than stainless. As I said in the previous video, I'm not knocking stainless. I wish we could get stainless as good as our standard. I'll be switching over in a heartbeat. Anybody has any samples of stainless they'd like us to test, as long as it's within the same dimensions or as close to damn it as our wire, please send me a piece. I'm really keen to try out different stainlesses, but it's been 30 years I've been trying to find something better and I haven't found it yet. Hope you enjoyed that video. Stand by for the next. One.